Hi, I'm Katie Couric, and welcome to Eye to Eye. He was one of the most popular contestants in the history of the show. And while Sanjaya Malikar was not, it turns out, America's Idol, we have not seen the last of him. The former American Idol contestant spoke with the early show's Hannah Storm about his plans for the future. How did you get to be the most famous guy on the biggest show in television? How did this happen? I don't know. <laughs> I just wanted to sing on TV. Oh my gosh. Uh, I was there when you were eliminated. Uh, and, and right before, it came down to the final two, in the commercial break, uh, right before you, you were eliminated, you were sobbing. I mean, you were really, really crying. Did you know that you were out? Yeah. Thought that was it? Yeah. Well, actually, I kind of felt like I was out when I saw the show on Tuesday. Mm -hmm. And, like, I wanted to stay positive, but the whole day on Wednesday I was kind of down in the dumps and mm -hmm. I didn't really I, I just felt like it was my last time doing the routine that we've been doing every week so yeah. I was I was kind of in my very subtle way saying goodbye mm -hmm. but and then when it happened I wasn't I had time to kind of become content with the fact I think the main reason why I was crying so much was because I was leaving everyone yeah we'd really become a family and it was hard but did you think that you could win American Idol? Did you think you had a shot? I wasn't really thinking about it. I was I was kind of thinking about getting through each week because I didn't want to look too far in the future because I, I was afraid I'd get too mm -hmm. overwhelmed because it's very easy to get overwhelmed in that kind of situation. But. Were you hurt at all? Uh, there were skits about you on Saturday Night Live. I mean, everything has a flip side because you've had such great, great fame and great things happened to you since then. But Howard Stern launched this whole Vote for the Worst.com website, thought if you stayed in that that could bring down the show. How did you handle things like that? Um, well, Saturday Night Live, I felt honored mm -hmm. because, um, I mean, I've never been parodied on Saturday Night Live. So. Yes, not many people have. Yeah, it, it was really fun, actually. I, I mean, I like, I like laughing with myself. I think mm -hmm. that's really important to be able to do. But, um, like, Howard Stern and Vote for the Worst, I think that they didn't, I mean, anyone who's going to vote for me based on that is going to vote for me a couple times, not... Right for two hours because it's very tedious to vote over and over again. Right, right. So I don't think that that would have even made a dent in what a true fan would vote for two hours. I've heard people say they voted 1,100 times. I'm like, how? How? <laughs> how is that possible? Yeah, right? <laughs> but I mean... It's, I don't know. And if they had had a vote for best hair, of course, you would have won hands down. We have to take a look at a hair retrospective because, I mean, how much did you make the call? of th This was, I mean, the ponytail. What was that, seven ponytails? Yeah. That one? Yeah. Did, was that your idea? Um, I wanted to do a mohawk, but yeah. I couldn't pull one off. So um, So did you think of these different hairstyles every week? I, I had ideas, but the hair guy helped me execute them. Do you have a personal favorite? Um, I liked Besame Mucho. I liked Yeah. Without all the grease, that was kind of annoying, but <laughs> I liked the curl of it. I, yeah. Can I ask you about a decision that you made because you decided to get your GED and not finish high school and pursue a career. Are you concerned at all about the message that that sends other young people? Or is that something, a, a decision that you're happy with? Um, I'm happy with it for myself. I think that it's really whatever works best for you. In my case, I was going into this American Idol. I got it right. I, I mean, I got it. I had a day to study for it, and I took it the next day, mm -hmm. right before I went to the top 24. So I already knew that I had lined up for me the education of the career that I wanted to do. And I still want to go to college. Good. So, so you so, want to go to college. Yeah. That's great. I'm not just giving up school and going to be a musician at all. And I think that it's really important to do what works for you, not mm -hmm. what Sanjaya did. Or, right. Because, I mean, unfortunately, I wasn't very, like, I didn't do my homework. I didn't go to class sometimes. And that's, it wasn't good. And I was in a bad habit, especially freshman year. And then sophomore year, I was making up for that. And it was really hard to to catch up, and I was also trying to do sophomore as well. I know you want to be much more than a flash in the pan. You want to continue to have a career, and uh, we wish you all the best.